Hello, this is Giovanni here at Fractals and today we are going to learn how to make a sound like this. The key to such a sound is modulating the cutoff frequency at audio rate. So we will start from there and see the stages that lead us to the end result. So first of all I'm gonna take a sawtooth from this brain saw oscillator, like this one for example, patch it to... I'm gonna use filter 4 input because uh, I won't have to break any semi-normalization afterwards and then patch it here, reduce the Q and uh, uh, character setting to a uh, mild uh, setting like this and um, I think I'm gonna pick up this one instead of the mixed output for now low pass there we're gonna use the 24 dB per octave and uh, a regular filter setting, so no combo mode. So what happens now? Well, if I take another sine wave, another uh, another waveform, for example a sine or a triangle, from my uh, from the same oscillator and patch it to modulate the filter's frequency, I can obtain a different timber. Compare this to this. You can hear a ma very mild overtone. Now, what happens if I increase the Q setting? Now the difference becomes way more noticeable. This is a regular filter sweep. And this is frequency modulation. You can see that there are some harsh spots that I can avoid with the combo mode, but I think I'm gonna keep it like this for now. And I can also play with the character knob to have an even harsher tone. So if I use the same uh, volt per octave signal to uh, modulate, uh, to articulate the pitch of my oscillator and filter in tracking at the same time, then it's very distorted tones. But what if I use another sine wave, not the same as the oscillator's frequency to modulate the filter cutoff frequency at audio rate? Well, I can use the, bra the other brain's oscillator and see what happens. And if I push the Q setting to its extreme setting, the sound will be dramatically altered. If I remove the volt per octave signal from the filter, so disengaging the filter tracking, I will obtain a result that is closer to a talk box because the modulation of the filter will be uh, more distinguishable and less tied to the oscillator. Now let's add some animation to our vocal sound and uh, let's use a gate track from the booster sequencer to fire an envelope and use the attenuated output to ping the filter. This way we can define the amount of modulation, so how much our fake mouth will open. 
It is important to balance the filter VCA and character levels to obtain the sound that we are after. Since we are no longer manually modulating our cutoff frequency but instead we are relying on an automation, at this point we may need to reintroduce the full product of tracking over the filter frequency. Let us fine tune both the audio rate FM over the cutoff frequency and the amplitude of the envelope in the filter. Let us fine tune the modulator's frequency as well. And here we go with a very nice fake talk box. If you don't have an oscillator and you want to achieve a similar result, you can take advantage of Kunsa's self oscillation by just picking a bandpass filter output or a low pass filter output, whatever, with high Q and high C setting. And just put the tracking volt per octave signal just a step to the left. For this purpose, I think the bandpass filter sounds much more interesting. Just for reference, this filter here just sounds like a pure, not so pure sine wave. I'm gonna use this one to modulate the FM, the, fre the cutoff frequency of this one. So today's tip basically ends here. I think it's very simple but very effective and most importantly not obvious at all. And it is also very convenient because we are using just one filter and two oscillators or two filters and one oscillator so we will have half or more of our HUSA still at our disposal for more sonic sculpting. I hope you found this video interesting and useful and I will see you next time for more patch tips.